呃，那这场议程要有这个呃某某议长，呃为我们为我们分享这些 SAC 和 C t e r t e e n 的一些呃怎么样去建立一个 C t e r t e e n 怎么样去 measure 你的 C t e r t e e n 够不够好？那其实在这次议程中，这个 talk 算非常特殊的，因为呃我们很多 talk 都关于比较底层的技术怎么样攻击，那怎么样呃监测二级城市，二级城市用哪些手法？那这个呃 talk 是比较属于高层次的，你怎么样管理企业内部的东西？对，比较偏企业的管理面，怎么样建立一个 SAC 和 C t e r t e e n 那虽然说方向比较不一样，但对于在座的各,各位学生或者是各个企业，其实在这方面技术是需要的比较多的。那其实每个企业也都会需要他们的 SOC 或 C t e r t e e n 对，所以今今天某某一场会为我们分享他们怎么样去建构一个好的 SOC 和 C t e r t e e n 好，那就让我们掌声欢迎某某一场为我们分享他今天的 talk。Uh, hello, I'm Momo from IIJ, and I'm also a member of ISOGJ. ISOGJ, and one of the security group acting in Japan.、Uh, thank you for coming here, and thank you for、uh, thank you Hitogon Program Committee for taking time. Today, I'm talking about、uh, ISOGJ and ISOGJ's work to improve your. Team of security response, and、um, but、uh, <laughs> some some documents that will be released next month. Sorry, sorry, little bit late.、Mm. These documents usable for enhancing your security team.、Uh, we think so. Now here's today's session's agenda. I will introduce ISOGJ and past activities. Then、um, I talk about some materials for improving the security team from the viewpoint of the security operation. Again,、uh, I'm Momo from IIJ. And,、uh, IIJ is Internet Initiative Japan, and one of the oldest internet service provider in Japan. I'm IIJ Group CSAT IIJ IIJ Sect member.、Uh, here's、uh, my SNS IDs, and、uh, I, I'm a programmer,、uh, and I'm one of, one of the、uh, IIJ Sect Ah、uh, IIJ CSAT member, and and I I like this. This is very <laughs> very. <laughs> Nada. In, in important point. I like <laughs> I like heavy metal music and、uh, I like eating local foods.、Uh, I have been to Taiwan about eighteen eighteen times because my my wife loves Taiwan. <laughs> I eat many kind of Taiwanese food and、uh, I love I love cats. I have three cats and.、Uh, She is eighteen years old.、Oh. <laughs> anyway, so、uh, let me talk about Isog Isogj. Isogj is the information security operation provider group, Japan. Isogj is a professional community, and it aims、uh, to. To gather security operation providers and expand the whole security service business, and exchange information and techniques between reliable professionals, and improves the quality of security service each other, and enlighten users.、Uh, its pronunciation is I Isogu J. Not not I so good, Jay. Because this this pronunciation is double meaning in in Japan. Go to Hari, Japan. Please see the this、uh, URL. Next、uh, members. Now now Isogu Jay has fifty fifty membership organizations.、Uh, sorry sorry for in, incorrect plot. It, it's just image, but really grows.、Uh, two two thousand and eight from now. Next, talk about our activities. 
Uh, now, ISOGJ has seven or eight working groups and the task forces and pro project. Uh, some groups suspended now. Uh, today, list of working groups that have and that now active. First, this guideline working group make some guideline type document. This this working group collaborate with WASP Japan. Uh, do you do you know WASP? WASP. <laughs> Little? <laughs> and if you don't know, and you are a developer or a security engineer, and please, please Google it now. Now. <laughs> WASP. Very, very important. And this, this working group published some documents of penetration tester skills. And this year, we published some documents about web apps. Uh, next, uh, <laughs> uh, the, the working group's name has no particular meanings. <laughs> the, the main purposes of this of the technical working group, WD2, is to get along with each other. Uh, we hold a meeting about once a month, uh, maybe, and we call this seminar part is sub part, and the drinking part is main part, we call. It's okay to join, or just only main part. <laughs> yeah, these are sub part photos. Uh, sub part almost held a member's office meeting space, and we discuss hot technical topics on security. And uh, these are main part. Photos. Yeah. Drink more and eat more and discuss more. <laughs> yeah. Back to introducing working groups. Yeah. This this laws research working group discuss ab around the laws and the systems. Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Discuss about, about uh, around roles and the systems around security operation business. Uh, release the document about information security laws in Japan. And this WG4, this working group is uh, in charge of planning events, publications, and public relations. And next, This security operation chaos working group discuss hot topics around security operations. Discuss any issues. <laughs> yeah. the, the, the document to be introduced today was made with these working groups. And next, uh, uh, these photos are, we, sometimes we held an overnight stay event on each working group uh, to discuss a little bit large topic for two days. It's variable time to discuss a hot topic for several hours. Next, uh, let me talk about past ISOGJ publications. Uh, here's a list of publications. And this, this guideline document is for users, and uh, security service users. Uh, publishing this, this document is uh, uh, one, one of the reasons for formed ISOGJ. Uh, around that year, uh, there were many cheap and fake security service services out there in Japan. Uh, so, sorry, I don't, I don't know other countries' situation. <laughs> for example, uh, for example, what, what is cheap and uh, fake? Uh, just, just put a firewall and IDS and uh, with no security operation. So many logs are there, but no one's, no one reading these logs. It's so, 
also but to leave them. Uh, the reputation of the world uh, security service get worse. Uh, it's terrible for us. Then we write this guideline document. By, by publishing this document, then we received contact from by the public sector and government and other industry uh, associates and others. Ah, this is a handy guide of security roads I told a minute ago. Next. Uh, these documents are made with OWASP Japan chapter. OWASP Japan chapter. These documents are about the penetration test testing. But uh, all of these publications are written in Japanese because we are Japanese. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, I think some of them are impressive and useful documents outside of Japan, too. Mm. Here is a Ueno san there. <laughs> Inaika. Ah, ita. <laughs> uh, the OASP Japan uh, uh, mem member, or oh, leader? <laughs> member. Uh, do, do you have a plan for translation? <laughs> <laughs> I would like to read it. <laughs> okay. uh, uh, this time we will release some document writing in English uh, related to security response. Uh, one has already released. Anyway, uh, back to today's topic, building security response team. Again, uh, Isokuji is a community for security operation providers. Uh, we have been built a SOC and CSAT ourselves and uh, group companies and so on. And we, we help each customer. Some members help customers to build their SOC or CSAT. Uh, then our, our customer often asks us about incident response and security response team building. Uh, there's a difficulty in each of them. Then how to build a security response team? Uh, many good documents are there, but many of our customers have difficulty with building a security response team. Uh, so, not, not only our customers, but we always feel it is difficult. Also, we are always looking for a better way to security response. No, why? Why difficult? Why is the security team building difficult? Uh, there are various reasons, but here are some, some examples we pick. We know it's difficult. Then what we should, uh, what should we do? We, we try to classify and organize them from the viewpoint of operators. Why is the viewpoint of operators? Uh, because we are the security operators group. And we thought Security operator's view is near security responder's view. In other words, uh, we thought we could write a document that would be easy for customers to understand. So, we broke down security operators to laws, a uh, security, we broke down security operations, broke down to laws and services, and summarize the flows and the interactions. Then we released the textbook and handbook. The handbook in English will be released next month. <laughs> then the handbook and the book uh, uh, released with additional two documents. 
One is a list of all roles and services with simple explanation. And another one is a self-checking tool made by Microsoft Excel format. Ah. And these, these four documents for uh, SOC CSAT. This te textbook is inspired by MITRE's document, uh, 10, 10 Strategies of um, World Class Cybersecurity Operations Center. And inspired to some documents for CSAT, for example, JPSAT CC, CSAT Guide, First CSAT Framework, and so on. And this red, red lines will be published in English. So I will introduce our handbook for security response organization. Uh, first, imagine your security response. What is a security response? Imagine. Okay. And our starting point is uh, this image is so different each person. The goal cannot set if this image is so different. Uh, understanding this difference is very important when reading the document and thinking about your team. Be very conscious hmm? be very conscious what of what position you are you are and who you are talking to. Here's a diagram we made. A list of commonly referenced guidelines in Japan. Uh, many guidelines here. Uh, this METI is uh, uh, no, no. Ministry of Economy, <laughs> Trade and Industry. Yeah. Government, government organized. And the JNSA is uh, Japan Network Security Association. NCA, NCA is Nippon CSAT Association. And many, many, nanda, eto, many organizations release document. Uh, choose the appropriate guidelines and the documents for what you are thinking about. And uh, next, uh, boundaries between SOC and CSAT is different for each organization. The difference can be a confusing topic at the meeting. Hmm. Organization A's SOC and organization B's SOC is different. And you may need to talk based on a clear role and function not an ambiguous word like SOC. So we repeated discussion about security response organizations again and again. Then divided the task of security response into nine roles and 44, uh, 40, 54 services. This is the nine roles we categorized. Uh, managing security response, uh, or managing security response organization or team. Uh, and, uh, two point two real time analysis, deep analysis, incident response, assessment of the achieved security level, threat information correction analysis and evaluation. Systems development and operation. Supporting internal control, oh sorry, it, it, it's a little bit different. Supporting, uh, it, supporting uh, organizations governance and threat response. And collaborating with other organizations. Our view is that these roles are needed when looking at the overall security response. And then, 
This is 54 services. For security response, each role requires such services. This is a role, and this role has these services. For example, deep, deep analysis here. Deep analysis has role has C1 network forensics and digital forensics and malware sample analysis. Analysis of the whole attack and preservation of evidence. And we, we draw the diagram. This diagram shows uh, flaws of security response. You can see the uh, long term cycle and uh, this short time cycle. Security response is uh, this long term cycle and short time cycle, uh, long term cycle and short time cycle repeatedly. The nine laws I talked about can be overlaid on this diagram. Uh, a lot of collaborating with other organization is outside of this diagram. Uh, eight, eight roles remain. Uh, this, this short cycle is mainly incident response. And uh, long term Long term cycle contains team direct direction and management, and infrastructure development and operation, and create threat to intelligence, and so on. Uh, next, uh, let's take a different view. We, defi we define the nine laws and uh, the 54 services, but it is difficult to complete such a wide range of functions in one organization. We thought that these functions could be organized into four. This, this quadrant chart. One, two, four. Uh, why, why access is required the security technical skill level? And uh, X axis is uh, attribute of the information required to provide the service. And open, uh, open or closed. Then this, this areas should be done by your organization because uh, technical skill, uh, required technical skills uh, not, not, not so high. And uh, this, this area needs uh, internal or confidential information to handle this, this service. That then should be done your organization. There may, may be one, two, three, four areas. Then you know, mapping the 54 services on this diagram here, very, <laughs> very complex. Please, please read the document to our next time, month release. And in this way, you can see whether you should do yourself or uh, Outsource to an organization with speciali specialized skills. Depends on it depends on such as your organization's size and functions. Uh, here, here is a minimum in-source case, and uh, this is full in-source case. All all service done by your organization. And these two, two cases between them. Uh, by class, 
classify, uh, by classifying service in this image, we can now help you decide what your security response organization, what to do. Next, talk about uh, maturity level. Uh, strengths of security response organization is uh, whether each role can be performed continuously by the team. An indicator of this is maturity level of organization. And uh, we made a self-checking tool for measure your security response organizations. Our model called uh, ISOM, <laughs> not ISOM, <laughs> ISOM, uh, ISOG J SOC C SAT maturity model. And this is an image for self-checking tool. Uh, sorry for image in Jap Japanese. <laughs> Now I will introduce how to use ISOM. You can try this in English in September, maybe. Uh, final check is now in progress. This is SWIFT's use ISOM. First, uh, you should understand the security response cycle and the nine roles and the 54 services. Uh, I explained this one minute ago. Second, decide which roles and the services you want to provide within your organization. We categorize service, this, this, this diagram. You should decide your organization to do. And third, Know the current status of your in-source, outsource style. And fourth, determine the goal of your in-source, outsource style. Mm. Choose, choose your style roughly in these patterns. Um, which style is your organization now and what style will your organization aim for in the future? Uh, select, select the current pattern and the target pattern, uh, sorry in Japanese, pull down menu, using pull down menus. Fifth, uh, check the current status using the self-check seed. Mm, rate your organization's current status on, of each item. Uh, you should rate each service using this scoring chart. Oh. This is score. One, zero, two, five. In, in source, in source and out source has a separate rating. Uh, difference is rate what you are, what you are team is doing, or rate the quality of service. Uh, the one important point, this score zero. One, one important point is to decide what not to do. You decide, you decide not to do, rate zero point. You do not decide not to do, but your team could not do late one point. This is completely different on ISOM. Uh, check carefully. And this is some useful tips. The, the first two reasons are similar to the zero point explanation. Now, now I explaining and uh, these these two tips are uh, uh, this is a self-checking tool 
uh, please rate on the three. <laughs> At last, uh, finished, you can see the result. We recommend each member to bring their results and discuss the difference. Result report shows these charts and comments for your team. Read the chart of your scores. And tab, tab your scores which rows. Your team's strong point. And your team weak point. Details and each details of each item should show like this. Scores of overall details of scores and recommended improvement points to next. So uh, we tried this this tool in, in Japan sometimes, and we found some interesting point of result using this tool. Uh, I, I think this this second point is very interesting. Uh, Operators and engineer use this tool, the score are often lower. But same teams, manager and readers, this use this chair switching tool, score are often higher. That's a very, very interesting viewpoint. And outsource service is have higher scores. So I introduced lightweight and easy to use tool. And anyone can use this tool. Uh, anyone, anyone can use this tool and uh, very lightweight to uh, check, check your status in short. Mm. Uh, Visualize gaps and fit by the type of occupation and individual differences. And all, all, uh, all persons use this tool, determine if there's a lack of service for security response in your organization. Yeah, no improvement can be made without checking the current status. Use, use its own. And uh, other, <laughs> other document uh, introduced, uh, uh, I have some, some time, some more time, uh, introduce other document. We released, or already released, uh, six W's on cybersecurity information sharing for enhancing SOCSYSAT document in English. Then, uh, let me talk about this document, uh, just, just a short. The point of this document is uh, uh, back to basics and thought. We had uh, many mismatch cases from customer or community of uh, sharing security information. Then people who want to share security information need to think these basics. Basics is six W, six W, and who, who, what, where, when, why, how. Uh, to send, to send or to receive uh, information. You, no, no, need need to think about this kind of. And this chart, skip, skip it, this. Uh, from the uh, sharing, share, shared information, this, this diagram, uh, the roles responsible for each phase are different. Uh, 
あえっ、ー、と、This, this, あ、あ、それ、えっと、大丈夫です。<笑>ディレマ。I saw this picture、uh, at the first annual conference, Lightning Talks, Mr. Tom Miller, US SAT.、Uh, people sometimes want all of these fast, accurate, and comprehensive. But this, the picture shows that it is impossible. If too mindful of quality when sending information, then you miss the timing. If you ask for ex ex excessive quality in information sharing, it will lead to decreasing sender. All participants、uh, participant、need to understand this. In order to create a good place to distribute good information. Okay, finally. Thanks.、Uh, Song Jay released Handbook for Security、uh, next month. <laughs> please, please use and、uh, send us your comments. Thank you. えー、なあ、ダウンもそう、ウェンチーシャウェンモモイさん。メオウェンチー、ハウナー、デメオウェンチー、ジョーツフェスチン。So I have a question about in,、uh, in your system, you have given the,、uh, the system a score about their、uh, security response. So can your system tell,、uh, tell us which part and we want to improve first? Because maybe we, every part is very bad.、Mm -hmm. So I know to find which one we should improve first. <laughs>、uh, mm, which one? <laughs> <laughs> well, this, this, this shows. Do you need to run up? で、あの、今現状と目指すところを入力することで、その優先度を一応目指すところに足りないものを、えっと、結果で結果で表示するように。あ、根据他的这个问题近期的目标以及长期的目标，然后以这个目标相对应的会反映到他们整个评分的 model 上面。所以在评分 model 最后，各位可以看到这个呃表格上面会写出显示出哪里不足，然后呃会标示标示出它的优先顺位。你们必须先从哪里开始？呃，就是根据一开始所呃设立的目标来在在那个 score 最后的 score map 做评估。不是，好像不是每场都有这个服务的。<笑> And、uh, the second question is that, um, uh, uh, you have mentioned that, uh, this metric is already used in some Japanese company, right? And I would like to know, in currently in most company, which part is, uh, they are not doing well? Oh. Ah, <笑>、uh, it, it's, uh, なんだ。Depends organization. え、あ、え、じゃない、えっと。
呃，不过这个这个问题呢，就是一般来说，哪一个业种哪一部分比较弱的方面的话，其实这跟业种的关系很有，就是很有相关性，所以并没有办法一概而论说哪边是相对来说大家都比较弱的。这个他们目前手边的资料没有，还没有办法做出这个归纳。OK， thanks。嗯，呃，呃，还有没有人想要有有问题想要提出来？哎，请。哎、uh, ，There are nine rows in the checklist. Uh, for each operator or engineer or manager, they need to fill out all of the checklist, or they just fill in their responsible area only. Uh, we we recommend uh all all uh all people all. Check, okay. because uh, this is uh, no, no. this this shows a gap in your team. Uh, all, all persons, all persons results are same. Uh, no, no. <laughs> 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 それは全員ちゃんと同じものを見てるんですけど、例えばリーダーとそのスタッフで違うとか、あと全員がバラバラだとしたらそれはチームが同じように感じてないっていうので何かの問題があるとか。あの、メンバー皆さん全員記入した方